More bad news for Chesapeake Energy, the natural gas company, was having a rough year before this little scandal with its CEO and soon to be not chairman, Aubrey McClendon. If you haven't heard, obviously to get you up to speed, McClendon, the controversial CEO of Chesapeake, coming under fire for taking out personal loans of more than a billion dollars from the company using stakes in company-owned wells as collateral. The company had and has since suspended this bizarre program that allowed McClendon to take stakes in company-owned wells, and this really has blown up in Chesapeake's face. But as I said, the company was struggling even without this. The company reported earnings after the bell on Tuesday that missed forecasts by a wide margin. Shares are plunging on Wednesday as a result. Natural gas prices are so low, it's just hard for companies like Chesapeake to make money right now. So the stock is plunging. This comes a day after shares surge because McClendon and the company announced that they were permanently terminating this controversial well program and also going to take steps to replace McClendon as chairman. They would now have a non-executive chairman separating the CEO and chairman roles. That could be good news for corporate governance types, but again, the stock not holding on to those gains because the earnings are just very weak. Chesapeake, at the end of the day, might turn out to be yet another company in what Chris Isidore at CNN Money used to lovingly call the stadium sports sponsor curse. Companies like Enron and CMGI and PSI Net, more recently American Airlines. If you put your name on a stadium, it's usually bad news that you're wasting money. Chesapeake Energy is the home of the Oklahoma City Thunder. If there's any consolation here, the Thunder looking pretty good against the Mavericks so far. Maybe Kevin Durant, in addition to being the likely NBA MVP and maybe a champion, maybe he should be the non-executive chairman of Chesapeake.